My name is Dave Treat. I lead Accenture's blockchain business. Uh, it's a, actually blockchain and multi-party systems business. Uh, and part of, uh, part of our focus and part of the business that we've been building uh, you know, re really has had at, the, had at its core the transformation of, of you know, large-scale ecosystems. And at the heart of it, there have really been two key gaps that we've been focused on now for a few years and making significant investments in. One of which you may have seen, we've had a focus throughout the, the past uh, week around uh, work that we're doing around uh, central bank digital currency. The other one, and the focus of tonight, uh, is really the other, which is digital identity. Hello everyone, meet Lucy, student in psychology, and me, her digital ID wallet issued by the government to offer a wide range of identity services. In fact, I'm a handy way of proving and protecting her identity both online and face-to-face. -face. Let's have a closer look at what I can do. I can help governments to better communicate with citizens. Right now, I'm reminding Lucy of the appointment she needs to schedule for her mandatory vaccination. Canada's banks are perfectly situated to help lead the creation of a federated digital ID system between government and the private sector. The World Economic Forum agrees that banks and financial institutions should lead the path forward for digital ID. Banks are highly regulated and trusted. They have advanced cybersecurity and privacy technology, and they have the infrastructure to operate provincially and nationally. Und aus diesem Grund wird die Kommission demnächst eine sichere europäische digitale Identität vorschlagen. With Digital ID, Australia Post offers a secure and convenient way to prove your identity. Verify your way and save time with Digital ID. Free to download from the App Store and Google Play Store.